Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. It's January Friday, as always on a Friday, we're going to have a look at where well, next month this takes us to the beginning of the new year, can you believe? We will go into the very first days of 2018 uh, with this update. Um, I'm running really late today, uh, I've been quick shopping this morning, so um, I'm a bit late with everything. We're going to uh, do the 17th Christmas update uh, for you later on today. Uh, I think that'll be the last one we do with CFS. And um, also, I want to try and fit in snow watch as well, because there have been more developments in terms of the snow uh, coming up uh, over weekend. And possibly on Monday, another dose uh, could hit some parts of the country again on Monday. So it's an ever-changing situation. I'm going to try and get these free updates in for you today. Might be pushing it a little, a little bit how late it's got, but I will do uh, my best. It may be that snow washing appears a little bit late, maybe around 8 o'clock, something like that. But I will try and get all free updates in for you today. And just say that tomorrow, exciting news, because of this um, snow situation that we've got coming up on Sunday and possibly again on Monday, myself and Quantum will be doing a live broadcast from 5 o'clock in the afternoon, a little bit earlier than normal. Normally we do them around 7, 8 o'clock, but we're going to do, go, go do it a bit earlier uh, this week, so, um, or this time. Uh, so tomorrow evening, 5 o'clock to around half past 6, it'll be a little bit shorter as well, it's around 90 minutes, we will discuss live um, the snow uh, on Sunday and possibly again on Monday, the areas that will be at risk of snow, how much snow those areas might get will be interactive so we'll take the questions as well uh so we'll be taking questions at gas weather feeds uh we'll be taking questions on twitter and facebook all of that uh kind of thing so that will be five o'clock tomorrow after you'll be able to watch that at uh gavsweatherfeeds.com uh, i will also embed the video into uh my twitter page and facebook page so you'll be able to use Twitter and Facebook to ask, answer, uh, ask your questions. And also you'll be able to do it on Quantum's channel as well. So there's going to be loads going on tomorrow. Also, of course, a weekend forecast as well tomorrow as well as on a Saturday. Right, so to cram in, I think better go on with it. Just say that the Christmas shop is still open. So if you've got any Christmas shopping to do, uh, Amazon, this will paying for me to be able to do all this. So if you've got any Christmas shopping to do at Amazon between now and Christmas, please click the green button that says Gas Christmas Shop. It takes you through to our Christmas shop page. And then from there, the key to do is to go through the Amazon banners because you're going from Gaz Revis to Amazon. Uh, we get a revenue fee on the things that you are buying for Christmas. And a big thank you to everybody for doing that. Right, let's crack on. We're going to start off with the JMA 500 millibar high dummies. Uh, broke down into weekly pairs from the North Pole view down. Let's change the colour. The uh, North Pole is just there and the mid-latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere going around there. Blue extrapolates to low pressure, red and orange to high pressure. We've got a ridge of above average heights for the coming week. These broke down to weekly pairs. So this takes us from the 8th to the 15th of um, December. We've got a ridge of above average heights in the Atlantic, also extending up to Greenland and it backs to the pole as well. And then we've got this deep trough of below average heights sitting over and to the east of the country. A real trough ridge pattern this with the flow and the jet stream doing something uh, rather like that. We're on the cold side of the jet. be a cold week coming up in the week ahead. There will be some snow potential. We know it's going to be a big snow event for some parts of the country on Sunday. Possibly again on Monday as well. Watch out for snow watch. Maybe a little bit later than normal. But we'll try and get snow watch done for you uh, today as well as that 17th Christmas update. Go through to week two. This takes us from the 15th, 22nd of December. We've got below average heights over... And uh, generally to the east of the country, we've got a tr ridge of above average heights, a lot of blocking to our north as well. So this one going into the third week of December also looks quite cold. We have got a ridge of above average heights around the Azores, but it doesn't look like that's doing a lot for us, uh, really. We're still essentially in this sort of trough um, ridge type pattern. I think we are more or less on the cold side of the jet stream as well. So I think we'll still be enveloping quite cold air into that area below average height. So more cold and wintry weather with the JMA today as we run up towards Christmas. 
And then we go through to week three and four. This takes us from the 22nd of December to the 5th of January. And what we find happening with this one is that we have below average heights over to the west of the UK. Still have a strong blocking signal up over the pole. Uh, and above average heights to our south. It's just really that trough that's repositioned ever so slightly. That means we're possibly bringing up some slightly milder or let's say less cold uh, F bringing it in from the Atlantic. But um, it's not all that far away, really, from the pattern that is still giving us, or will be giving us a cold weather through the middle of December. This is a very strong blocking signal that we have up here. It wouldn't take much of an adjustment to push that cold air down into the area of below average heights. As it is, I think the JMA is going for a less cold period at the end of December and into the start of January. So over Christmas into New Year, probably turns a little bit uh, milder, perhaps. Let's have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies from this uh, chart from the JMA, which is the tropical and mid latitude uh, view. That's the equator uh, just there. We've got the northern hemisphere uh, just here, and the southern hemisphere is down here. I'm rushing to try and get through this as quick as I can. So I'll just tell you about the British Isles in the top right-hand corner of the chart as we're looking at it. Week 1, 500 mm of our heights are cold. We've got this trough in over the UK and also to our east. We're going on to the cold side of the jet stream and pulling air down from the north. So you expect this to be a cold of an average week, and that's what the model is showing. It's showing temperature anomalies for the week from the 8th to 15th of December to be colder than average. If we go up to precipitation anomalies, it's also a bit wetter than average. So cold and wet basically means the chance of snow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got above average precipitation here. We've got below average temperatures. That means there will be wintry potential in the week ahead. More on that later with Snow Watch. We go through to week two, which takes us from the 15th to the 22nd of December. Still looking quite cold with this one. The below average heights are still in over the UK and to our east. We can't see the pole, but we've had a look at it already. We know that up here, there's quite a uh, blocking signal uh, towards the north of the country. So temperature anomalies for this week, the 15th, 22nd of December, are still coming out. Colder than average with the JMA. It looks like another cold week uh, overall. And the precipitation anomaly is still above average. So more wintry potential here, I think, in week three, 15th to the 22nd of December. It does look as though there's more wintry potential coming through uh, there. And then finally, we go through to weeks three and four. Finally, for JMA, I should say, I'll look at CFSV2 in a moment. Um, finally, for the JMA, we go through to weeks three and four. This is the 22nd of December to the 5th of January. Uh, not really all that much change. We've got the above average heights down here. Um, and we've got below average heights in the Atlantic. It just looks like we're, it's all going a little bit more westerly here. The jet stream is possibly rising a little bit further northwards. So I think gradually through this end of December to New Year period, it's possibly turning a little bit milder, or maybe it would be better to say less cold, because there is still quite a strong blocking signal, which we can't see, but we know it's there because we've seen the North Pole view down. So it's still quite a blocking signal to the north. I think it's more sort of less cold than actually milder. You can see from the temperature anomaly, it is lifting up. We've got the yellow colours appearing to our south, also across Central Europe as well. So the UK is only going a little bit milder than average, but certainly a bit of a recovery is taking place there in the temperature over the Christmas and New Year period. Precipitation anomalies stay above average. So it looks like quite an unsettled month coming up, I have to say. Um, above average precipitation coming through there from 22nd of December to 5th of January. So we just lose the snow probably and go back more towards rain as the temperatures gradually start to lift up. But do keep in mind, let's go down to this 500 millibar height anomaly. Do keep in mind this week three, weeks three, four period uh, has a very strong blocking signal up to our north. And uh, actually, let's go back to it. So this is it. This is the blocking signal that we have up to our north, this big uh, yellow and orange area. Whilst the model wants to reintroduce less cold or milder 
westerly wings. Let's not totally discount this block, because that's a strong blocking signal that we've got there for week three and four. Normally, on these, uh, in this period, the signals tend to become a lot weaker. So that's a very strong signal for blocking right over top of the pole in week three and four. And only a very, very slight adjustment would keep the jet stream to ourselves, keep us on the cold side of the jet stream, and uh, also keep us pretty cold and winchy there, even into the end of December. So I wouldn't totally discount that possibility at all. Remember, these models are always looking to get us back to the westerly flow. They're always looking to revert to the default pattern. The default pattern for us is westerly. The jet stream comes off the Atlantic. It brings us our west southwesterly winds through the winter. That's our default setup. And these models will always, always try and get back to that default setup. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we will go back to it. So just with that caveat in mind, let's go on to the CFS V2. And these are 500 bit of our high dollars again, broken down into wheat pits. The first wheat pit taking us from the 8th to the 14th of December. The coming week looks cold. We've got the below average heights in over UK and to our east. Above average heights are through the Atlantic, going up to Greenland and all tying back to this very uh, intense blocking that's up over bowl. So real trough ridge pattern going on here. It's also cold across the eastern part of America. Uh, and we're doing some something like that with the flow and uh, with jet stream we're placed on the cold side of the jet and this blocking is entrenching cold air into that area of below average heights moving through to week two which takes us from the 15th to the 21st of uh, December. So below average heights still over and to the east of the UK but also extending a little bit more towards the Atlantic above average heights down here. It's still quite cold, I think, this, but the jet stream is slowly starting to try and return to our north, uh, uh, to um, sort of a, a normal situation. We turn northwards a little bit. The real mild weather is over in the east of Europe because we've got this trough just here and then this ridge over here, and we pull up southerly winds into the eastern part of Europe. So that's where the real mild weather is. But perhaps a slight recovery in temperature is taking place there through the third week of. Um, through the week of December. We go through to week three, which is the 22nd to the 28th of December, covering period, and very similar to the JMA, lots of uh, below average heights over and to just to the west of the country this time, above average heights to our south. So the jet stream is pulling up northwards. It's starting to turn milder. But again, we have this very strong blocking signal that's over the pole, also extending towards Greenland. So once again, I would have to caveat this and say that whilst the model is lifting the jet stream back northwards, it is starting to pull us into milder westerly winds here by week three. Don't discount that blocking signal. That's a very strong area of above average heights that we've got centering itself over the pole uh, just there. And then we go through to week four, which is the 29th of December to the 4th of January. It all looks rather westerly, below average heights in the Atlantic, above average heights to our south and southeast. Uh, so we do something like that, flow and jetty. That could actually be very mild through uh, to the new year period. Again, we have got this blocking signal up to the north. It looks like it's heading more over towards the Pacific side uh, of the pole, perhaps. So, um, but it is still a very strong blocking signal. It's four weeks away. So, I think there's enough here with this blocking that both of these models are seeing over the pole to say that while, yes, it does look as though the second half of December, particularly this Christmas and New Year period, may turn milder or less cold. Don't discount the chance that cold weather could hang on in some form or another because we do see a really strong blocking signal here with both of these models. Let's whistle through temperature precipitation on this finally. So this is CFS V2 week one temperature anomaly from the 8th to the 14th of December. The coming week is going to be colder than average and there will be a risk of snow. Week 2 temperature anomalies from the 15th 21st of December. Around average may be still a little bit on the colder than average side uh, if anything. 
Week 3 temperature anomalies covering the Christmas period is going from the 22nd of December to 28th of December over Christmas. Gradually those temperatures are lifting up. They're going a little bit milder than average, particularly for England and Wales, which is very mild across many parts of uh, Europe, by the way. And then we go through to week 4 where it's genuinely very mild, Ben. We've gone to the 29th of December to the 4th of January, temperatures are significantly above average by around 2 degrees or so uh, warmer than average. Many parts of Europe are coming out very mild as well. But we do still have a strong blocking signal, so I'm not at all sure about that. And uh, I'll just leave that there, I think. So, uh, in t oh, I've not done the precipitation. So just have a quick look at precipitation. The uh, week one precipitation anomalies are coming out uh, average a little bit wetter than average. Week two precipitation, 15th, 21st of December, comes out average a little bit wetter than average. There is snowfall potential in with this period as well. Then week three over Christmas, it looks like it turns very wet. Uh, actually strong uh, signal for significantly above average rainfall. And then week four, which takes us to New Year, we go from 29th December to the 4th of January. That one comes out average to a little bit wetter than average as well. So it looks like we're in for an sell month of it. We start off with a significant risk of snow, and then as the temperature gradually lifts up towards the end of the year, that will um, become more of a risk of uh, rain. So I think we've got cold weather definitely in for the next week. It probably extends into the middle of uh, December as well. Beyond that, we go up towards Christmas and New Year. The models want to re-establish westerlies and turn it milder. But they aren't getting rid of the blocking signal that is delivering this cold weather right now. The blocking signal remains into the end of the month. It's just that uh, the jet stream starts to rise a bit further north. As they said, we on the cold side of the jet. We probably have the jet coming through the country by Christmas. But whether that actually happens with such a strong blocking signal in situ over the Arctic uh, for the end of the year, I'm not really all that sure. Let's wait and see uh, where we go. But certainly the next couple of weeks are looking quite cold and there will be some wintry potential as well. All right, that's JMA uh, Friday done and dusted. We've got the 17th Christmas update coming up for you probably a little bit earlier than normal. That may be with you around 5 o'clock, something like that. Um, and then I suspect we will have to have another look at Snow Watch uh, probably a little bit later than normal, so 7 to 8 o'clock, something like that. I'm going to try and get all these updates done for you uh, this afternoon. Uh, but that's JMA Friday done. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.